In this video, we're going to take an overview look of GarageBand, breaking up the interface and focusing on the bottom half. All right, we're still getting our feet wet here, but we're moving on to bigger and better things. So let's go ahead and take a look at the transport here. Now, usually people are familiar with the transport because it is similar on uh, multiple platforms. But if you are not familiar, that's totally fine. We're going to take a look at it anyway. All right, now starting, starting with this uh, first button right here, this is the rewind button. And if you click that once, you can notice the uh, play marker moves one measure back. And I'll click that a couple more times just to show you. One click, one measure, one click, one measure. Now that's a quick way to uh, move about within your song um, if you don't want to jump too far. And the next button is the fast forward button that does the same exact thing although it moves in the opposite direction. Now I'll show you an example of that. Click once, it jumps one measure. Click again, jumps another measure. So you can really toggle uh, within your song uh, fairly quickly within a, a short jump radius, if you will, uh, back and forth with these two buttons right here. Now let's say you wanted to jump really far, like you're playing a, a game of hot scotch and you just really want to dominate the game and just uh, just take it over. Or if you just want to start from the beginning of the song. Uh, that's what this next button is for. Go ahead and click that once and let's take a look and see what happens. Boom. It jumps to the very beginning of the song. That is a quick, efficient, and very useful button because what does everyone say? Everyone says, hey, play it from the top. So that's what that button does no matter where you are within the song. Let's go ahead and just put uh, or place the play marker in a random spot like right there in verse 1 and go down to the beginning of the song button and click that. Boom. There you go. Show you one more time just to convince you for the non-believers. Boom. There you go. And that has nothing to do with editing tricks. Believe me, folks, it does really jump to the beginning of the song. <laughs> now let's move on to a more familiar button, which I'm sure everyone is familiar with, the play button. And uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and take a listen to this song. As you can see, it's a funk type of song or band session that we have going on in here. As you can notice, the uh, jump to the very beginning song or button has changed into a rectangle or a square, excuse me, which represents stop. You can actually click on either this button or the play button to stop the song. And just to be different, let's go ahead and play this the play button, or I mean, I'm sorry, hit the play button just for those non-believers out there. Boom, and it stops the song. It's like magic. <laughs> now moving on to the big red dot, also known as the record button. This is probably one of the most important buttons within the program. Why? Because it records. It's the magic button that allows your audio in from your guitar, vocals, or even software instruments uh, into the digital realm. Now once you hit that button, it's going to start recording no matter if you have sound coming in or if you don't. And for those non-believers, again, let's go ahead and hit that button. As you can see, the region is being recorded even though nothing is coming in. And now with this, you can either hit the record button again. If you do hit the record button again, the playback will still continue, but you will stop recording. Now if you hit one of these buttons, the stop or the play button, it will stop everything entirely. It will stop playback and it will stop recording. So uh, let's just to show you, let's go ahead and hit the uh, record button. Playback is still going. Hey. I want to stop recording everything right now. All right, let's go ahead and hit that play button. Boom, there you go. So that pretty much sums up the transport. So please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any requests, 
please send them to request at mahalo.com.